Welcome to our channel. Today we're diving into an important topic. Traditional banks versus crypto custody. Which is the better option? Traditional bank accounts and custodial storage solutions for digital assets like Bitcoin have both become popular for managing finances and investments. Let's explore the benefits and considerations of each. First, let's look at uh, traditional bank accounts. These are familiar financial tools that allow you to store, manage and transfer money easily. They offer services such as savings accounts, checking accounts and loans. The benefits of traditional bank accounts include security, accessibility and stability. Banks are regulated institutions with robust security measures to protect your funds from theft and fraud. Traditional banks also provide easy access to your money through ATMs, online banking and mobile apps. Plus, government deposit insurance programs protect your deposits if the bank fails. However, traditional banks also come with fees and limited control. You might face charges for maintaining an account, making transactions or overdrafting. These fees can add up over time. Additionally, when you deposit money in a bank, you give up some control over your funds. The bank uses your deposits to issue loans, which can introduce risks. Now, let's talk about custodial storage for digital assets. These services store and manage cryptocurrencies like Bitcoin on your behalf, offering secure and convenient storage solutions. The benefits here include advanced security protocols, user-friendly interfaces, and regulatory compliance, giving users a level of assurance. Custodial wallets often come with encryption and cold storage options. Cold storage keeps your assets offline, away from hackers, while hot storage provides quick access for trading. This flexibility is a significant advantage. However, custodial storage also has its downsides. There's third-party risk, which means that you rely on another entity to safeguard your assets, which introduces counterparty risk. If the custodian faces technical issues or security breaches, your assets could be at risk. It's crucial to choose reputable custodial services. Let's compare both options side by side. Security is crucial in both systems. Banks use multi-factor authentication and encryption, while custodial wallets use blockchain technology and advanced cryptography. When it comes to transaction speed, custodial wallets excel with faster settlements compared to traditional bank transfers. Blockchain technology facilitates near instantaneous transactions. Cost is another factor. Crypto transactions are generally cheaper, especially for international transfers. Traditional banks often charge high fees for cross-border transactions. For global accessibility, crypto wallets shine. They provide easy access to digital assets from anywhere, anytime, without the need for physical branches. Moreover, custodial wallets can improve financial inclusion by providing access to the global financial system for those without traditional banking services. Although traditional banks do not sell cryptocurrencies directly, many of them are beginning to offer related services such as custody, management and trading of digital assets. This shows that the banking industry recognizes the potential of cryptocurrencies and is adapting to new financial realities. In conclusion, traditional bank accounts and crypto custodial storage each have their benefits and considerations. Your choice depends on your financial goals, risk tolerance and preferences. What has been your experience with traditional banks and crypto custodial services? Where would you store your investments? Leave your story in the comments. And thanks for watching. Be sure to like, subscribe and let us know your thoughts in the comments. See you next time.